So good afternoon and welcome back to another episode of me trying to run in Stan the Scram. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got 150 miles on last time we were out, as you'll as you'll know if you saw the uh, the last video. Oh, by the way, it's. Uh, just for my records, the date today is Saturday the 18th of February 2023, time is 13.30 and I'm out in Warwickshire, in the uh, in the posh back roads of Warwickshire. So um, hopefully these posh people who live around here um, won't call the police and have me and Stan escorted off to somewhere a little less elite and somewhere a bit more fitting with our uh, our worky plus backgrounds <laughs> I'm only joking um, yeah just uh, mooching around the uh, it is the posh parts of Coventry this is over around by Ullen Hall and Tanworth and Danzy so I'm just mooching around here having a chat with you lot and uh, putting miles on really I was out a bit later than I planned to be today, I was going to try and get out a bit earlier to go to the, the, the tip, an appointment at the tip, booked for 10 o'clock, uh, to load up, get to the tip, come back, so, and then uh, gather my thoughts and then get ready and come out, so I ended out a, lot, a fair bit later than I planned to today, to be honest. The observer amongst you will notice we have, well we're testing out wrist cam. And uh, this is a, uh, something I saw that uh, Uncle Longbeard had done as a way of catching some different angles and stuff. So I thought, uh, I, I, I'll give it a go. So uh, we have wrist cam, so we'll have some, uh, see what angles I can, or what sort of footage I, I, uh, I get from doing that. So yeah, uh, wasn't out last week, um, as I was out at... Uh, down in Wales, my second home down in Wales uh, my caravan to be fair, not second home but it, it, we treat it as a second home so I was down there, so I didn't uh, didn't have a chance to get out last week really so we have a look down here I don't want to go on the A435 though I think what I'm going to do is do a spin round and go back and then take the turn I saw for Bansy and Tamworth Tanworth, T-A-N-W-O-R-T-H, -A -A not to be mistaken with Tamworth in Staffordshire. So uh, we'll have a look at that. So we're in the uh, district of Stratford or Duval. And uh, as I say, just mooching around, trying to keep uh, keep to 40 miles an hour. That was a blooming nightmare coming along uh, coming the Reggie's Bypass. I, I hate that road at the best of times. And I was trying to avoid it. I think it's the A441. Or 448. It's one of them two. Uh, but I ended up on it for some daft reason. So, uh, um, I had to struggle along that at 40 with everything tearing past me, but uh, hey ho, such is life. So, um, yes, yeah, so I thought I'd just struggling to find somewhere to go really today because uh, the goal being just to put miles on and uh, I starting out late so I wasn't quite sure where to go so again freestyling it but I thought oh no, I'll head over towards Warwickshire because uh, there's plenty of nice roads and scenic villages and posh houses in Warwickshire that we can have a look at. So yes yeah, so, so I wasn't out last week um, I was just out uh, yeah, so down at the caravan uh, we had a weekend down there and uh, had a bit of fun with the dog on the beach. Only have you looked at uh, the Instagram page for uh, for our uh, for us? You know, see me with the dog on the beach and the dog going up. completely do Lally. She does that when she gets the chance to be off a lead. Uh, I don't know where she finds the energy from. Ten years old and she races around like a flipping like a pup. So uh, you, you may well have seen her on the uh, if you had a look at Instagram. The other one on Instagram to have a look at is I posted a picture of my mate Paul's big Paul um, W800 with his patent pending 
um, wicker basket top box uh, if you want to have a, let's have a look at that if you're interested in that uh, we went to Northumberland back in 2019 and that was uh, he used that for carrying his luggage and stowing his other stuff and uh, we were somewhere up uh, near the Scottish border and we were as we were heading through this small town or village uh, some coppers by the side of the road that spotted us and uh, and found Paul's uh, bespoke packaging to be quite uh, quite entertaining as they laughed at us so yeah so there you go he's not ashamed to embarrass us where he was uh, he was uh, channeling his inner Wallace and Gromit so I've got this booked in for its first service, it's 300 mile service on the 14th of March so if I can get the other 150 on this weekend uh, that'll get me uh, sorted and then uh, it's actually a couple of weeks away then, two or three weeks um, ready to do the, uh, here we go, need to turn left here uh, ready for the service in uh, in uh, March and then I think we can go to 50 miles an hour <laughs> oh can't wait um, yeah I say it's uh, finding the time to squeeze stuff in um, and I say it's a quite nice opportunity really with having to you know, sort of uh, be really restrained about the um, the speed I'm doing is to go out and just mooch around these back lanes and uh, it's quite fun really, quite entertaining I'm enjoying it Blake was absolutely filthy after I got back from the Welsh Marches uh, right out two weeks ago, bloody hell it really uh, gave it one baptism of filth that did um, absolutely heathed uh, we're up here and uh, yeah I spent Sunday, good few hours on the Sunday was it a Sunday? It was a Sunday. Good few hours giving it a good thorough clean. And uh, probably going to have to do the same again, I'd imagine. Well, hopefully the roads are a bit less uh, diabolical than they were um, a couple of weeks ago. Because the weather seems to have improved a little bit, which is great. Um, I'm just hoping that the weather, we're, we are, we're going to get this... Uh, early spring there's a sheep over there so uh, fingers crossed that we have a nice uh, early spring this year and uh, a good season again this uh, I say uh, in terms of places I can go that are not too far away from uh, from home We've got, so if I go west, I mean to Wales in 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, if I go east or slightly southeast, I'm into Warwickshire, uh, north into Staffordshire. Um, I need to spend a bit more time mooching Staffordshire, uh, especially up to North Staffordshire, the Staffordshire Moorlands, and up there. Another area to go and mooch them. I think one of the reasons I don't go up there is that you've got to sort of suffer getting it's not it's not got a nice route out of the southwest of Birmingham which is where I live to get north of Birmingham and then sort of north of Wolverhampton there's nowhere there's no nice roads once you get sort of past Wolverhampton you're all right you're, you're into you're up there and you're into Shropshire to your to your west get north you're, you're, in, you're sort of up towards Chester and you've got some nice roads up there but uh, nice house hello squirrel um, but until you reach there it's just crap and then Cannock and you can go up into the chase but again you've got the crap of you've got to take a bit of a jaunt to the M6 to get up there or you've got to go through Warsaw uh, and get up it through that way so it's pretty pants really so uh, I tend to, I don't, unfortunately I don't spend enough time looking up there and mooching up there because of that and I need to, need to do something about that. Um, 
done a lot of work around here years ago because most of you probably already know I work in the rail industry and uh, part of re-signalling works and the power supplies associated with re-signalling was uh, something that I did back in 2007-2008 uh, I spent a lot of time over here doing uh, sorting supplies and stuff out and putting in signalling power supplies uh, I used to be used to spend a lot of time mooching over here yeah so as I say need to try and spend more time up Staffordshire over towards Derbyshire again Derbyshire lovely but I've got an hour of crap to get there and uh, this is one of the reasons that I'm tending not to uh, not to venture sort of north but I need to get out to Oxfordshire as well have a, have a, uh, a look at some of the back roads of Oxfordshire and I've spent time, been done a been around the Cotswolds and need to go and do that again so lots of planned places to visit uh, so for the reason I tend to keep either south east of Brom or south of Brom or west of Brom is because you haven't got such a ball like to get away from the, the conurbation and into the countryside oh, there you go now you know why I uh, I tend to do some of the areas that I do 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 I just said do do so it's just this is just pleasant as I say when I was over in uh, in the Welsh marches the uh, on the last video that's just these roads these back roads and you know off the beaten track a little bit it's not so much here but they're just a pleasure to ride really so this bike just does it so easy, I'm not even on the gear there, just does it so effortlessly. So, uh, fortunately, I haven't asked the boys out yet, oh, the boys and the girls, because, uh, I don't want to bore him stiff with having to follow me around or wait for me to catch up at 40 miles an hour. So uh, once I get this one serviced, I can get out and uh, on the uh, on this and the other bikes again. So it's just sort of a bit of a focus on getting this up to uh, you know the money miles to get it up to its first service. Uh, that's why you you're not seeing any of the others at the moment. Is because it's, I'm just uh, we haven't fell out or anything. I'm just not going to sort of spoil the rides out with them having to wait for me or me slowly following along behind me, getting bored. So, uh, but they'll be out. I'll be out again with them soon. Well, I'm looking forward to that. So as you say, um, Uncle Longbeard, thank you for the suggestions of, uh, of risk-mounted GoPro. I want to see how that looks. Hopefully that might be uh, something I can uh, weave in or integrate. Henley Hotel. It's like we're in Henley and Harden. Henley and Harden. Henley and Harden. So where do we go? Hopefully Heath now. Henley's one mile that way. Oh, I know where we'll go. That's up that road there, leading to oh, yeah, we'll go down there. This is what it's all about. Mooching. Beat a bit of mooch here.
as I was saying, it's, it's, it's a great thing with this bike now is that you know these roads that I would have looked at and thought of going off. I've never never really done it, but this one sort of encourages you yeah, because it's more what it's made for. So it's a it's a whole new sort of slant on. on sort of touring and ride outs is that it's more about off the beaten track mooching now than more so than anything else please don't let anything come the other way oh look this is look at this this is, the, this is what's brilliant about it it's the it's the mystery of it takes you back to being a kid when you see these roads and you, you think I wonder where that goes It does for me anyway, it uh, creates those uh, sort of childhood feelings of uh, venturing into the unknown. No, you dick. Borders that house. See, posh people live up here, look. What have you? Beautiful. Things you just never find if you didn't come and uh, mooch in it. And again, it's only <coughs> probably as a crow flies 20 miles from our house. Gorgeous. Absolutely wonderful. The only slight thing you have to worry about really on these sorts of roads is uh, is what might suddenly come in the other direction. Look at this, this is lovely. Wonderful. That's what I mean, look, if I just pull into here now, that was handy. People with osses, that's what you'll get around there. Where shall I go? A sport for choice. Single track road. Unsuitable for motor vehicles. I mean, go up there then. I don't think I want to go up there because that's going to take me back where I've come from. I think. So. I tell you, should I have gone up that road? Of course I should. We can always turn around if it's crap, can't we? At least we could have a little mooch.
Don't mooch, you don't discover things. Perfectly suitable for motor vehicles. What are you on about? Might live to regret those words. Here we go, look. No problem. Very nice lady on the horse there. Ain't this fun? No, not going up there. Single track road on a Ford up there. That's for another day. What we got down here? Look at these lovely houses. I actually could retrace these routes because what I'm doing is I'm not using my beeline as a navigation device, I'm using it as a as a tracking device, so it's tracking the route that I'm taking. So that allows me and then I'll keep it. And then I can come and do it again if I if I want to. This is nice. Oh, this is bloody brill. Love it. Why not? 